Okay, today's video, I'm gonna show you what a seized engine is and how to differentiate it between maybe a bad starter or something else as an easy way to check to see if it's seized. Hopefully you don't have a seized engine, but if you do stick around and I'll show you how to check that. Um, I have other videos, um, lots of videos on how to save money, save you hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs. You do it yourself, do it right. Okay, so now we're gonna get in the car and gonna turn the uh, ignition on. And then we're gonna go. You hear that? Bah! Do it again. Nothing. Bah! Now, that could be. Let me just shut this off. Oh, it's in. It's in. Okay. Now, that could be a seized engine. That could be as simple as a starter. So what the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is locate where the crankshaft is, the crankshaft pulley. On this car, it's right here. There's gonna be a bolt on the, the, the center bolt. Find out what, what size that nut is. Get yourself a breaker bar, okay? And what you're gonna to wanna to do is once you've got the breaker bar on there, okay, you're gonna turn it clockwise, okay? Now, if the engine turns, you know, with, with not that much force, you know, it turns nice, not that much effort, the engine is not seized, it's the starter, or power going to the starter, or a, ba a bare ground, but a lot of times, if your connections are good on the starter, it's probably the starter, the armature inside there burns out, and um, the commutator, whatever it is, and um, that's your problem. On this car... Oh, now, let's say if you've got a four-cylinder and it's sideways, you know, the, the uh, crank is going to be this way, okay? Or you've got an Audi, it's going to be in the front, or whatever. You get the idea, okay? You just put a wrench, nice, it has to be a long one because you've you got compression in there. And if you can't turn it with your hand, like, see this wrench? This is an eight-cylinder engine. <clears throat> you can turn it nice, no problem, okay? Now, on this engine, I can't. It's locked. So that means it's seized. Now, this engine has oil in it. So usually the number one reason is lack of oil. Or the oil pump went and they disregarded the light or the light never went on. Well, uh, you know, one thing led to another. The bearings lose oil and they actually weld themselves to the crank. And there's where you get the, that's how it seizes up. Okay? So the two scenarios, like I said, the starter or, you know, if in the case like this engine... It's going to be, need a new engine. So I'm going to rebuild this engine. If you want to stay tuned and watch that. Okay. So, um, and that's it. That's it. All right, guys. Simple as that. Motor car nut. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. Any questions, link below. I answer all my comments. I appreciate all the comments all over the world I get. Um, it's, you know, it makes me know that I'm doing the right thing. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video.